Hello brothers and sisters in Christ, I just wanted to do a quick uh, prayer request that was given to me and now I've got a couple for myself. Um, and remember, I have the uh, email address, you can email prayer requests, um, testimonies, uh, stories, things that have happened to you and how God saves you in your life as a Christian. Um, just good testimonies and any prayer requests, please, by all means, email me. But it starts here, before I go into it. If I seem a little tired, it's because I've been working outside today, and this prayer request is more important, but my glasses, <laughs> I've asked for prayer before from the brothers and sisters in Christ about my eyes and my sight. Well, one of the screws came loose on my glasses, and they were my last pair. I have my prescription sunglasses, but I'm not going to sit there <laughs> and do that thing, so please pray that I'm going to probably go in tomorrow or maybe wait till Monday. and. Uh, Get in there and see if they can fix the screw because nothing's actually broken, it's just a screw, a screw came off. So without my glasses I te seem to get a little bit more drowsier, like tired, especially from reading and studying and doing work outside. So let's get it started. Hi Brother Philip. I hope this email finds you well. It's nice to see the Lord using you again. Thank you, Sister in Christ and Brother in Christ. It's um, just so blessed that after all my failures and my mistakes, the Lord is allowing me to still do some work for Him. I'm emailing to ask you to please pray for my mother. Her name is Kathy. She was diagnosed with cancer in her not in her tonsils, not nostrils, tonsils, and on the back of her tongue. She beat stage four ovarian cancer ten years ago. Please pray for her to get saved first and most importantly, but also that the Lord gets her through this. Uh, it's a good prayer. Um, always pray that the Lord gives her every opportunity uh, to come to Him broken. And yes, that prayer is also important that the Lord gets her through it and gives her the time she needs to come broken. But ultimately, the Lord's will be done. But yes, please pray for Kathy. Also, strength, strength for my father he is her sole caregiver through this. Thank you in advance for your prayers and support. Grace and peace be with you from God our Father and our love for you, love to you in our Lord Jesus Christ. All right. So it's a prayer request. Her mom needs prayer for her uh, cancer. And but more importantly, brothers and sisters of Christ, pray for her that she gets saved. Uh, God gives her every opportunity. God's not going to force her to get saved. But God gives her every opportunity to get saved. So it was a very important prayer request I wanted to share with everybody. Yes, I use tablets. Um, I listen to Bible, Alexander Scorvey on this. I listen to Bible studies on this. And I'll be sitting out here listening to it. I bought one of those little speakers that are wireless, Bluetooth, and it makes it where, because these can't get that loud sometimes, and it gets windy and stuff. But I'm using this also is because I need also need prayer, brothers and sisters of Christ, to, my printer, it's going out on me. So I had to fight it a lot for the last study I did to get the printing to come out. Um, I'm going to try to order a cleaning kit, see if I can fix it. But if not, I, I bought a really nice, I had an old printer and bought a really nice printer. And I was like, yeah. And the printers, see, I got it before I got here. So let's say four years old. But it's a really nice, expensive one. You know, you can do copies and you, it's Bluetooth. You don't have to hook it up to your computer or nothing and um, scan stuff, you know. I guess you can do faxing. You can put memory cards in there and just work from the screen to print up stuff. And All I use it for is printing out Bible studies and whatnot. But uh, it started going out on me. <laughs> so I've been doing Bible studies. I've been really getting into them, but I'm really fighting that printer. So if you can pray for for me that God helps me with the printer. Either helps me find a new one um, that I can afford or helps me the cleaning kit that I get for this that it solves the problem. Keep coming up with an error every time I told it to print. So, And here's a warning. Not a warning. It's uh, something to learn from. Learn from my mistakes if you can. You can learn from other people's mistakes. I was looking online. Oh gosh, I didn't bring the other one with me. Give me one second.
Okay, that was a quick walk away. Okay. I bought this CD. I'd rather have Jesus, Shelby, Karen, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, from String, Sem Seminole String Band. And she did a CD where it's just her picking the guitar and to um, old hymns, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, uh, When the Roll is Called Up Yonder. Let's see, uh, My Jesus, I Love Thee, I'd Rather Have Jesus, Soft and Tenderly. Um, a lot of Just As I Am, I like some of these. How Great Thou Art, Be Thou My Vision. Let's see, um, so she does a lot of picking and I like this music. I play it all the time when I'm sitting out here and talking with the Lord so I can have good old hymns without words playing in the background and I'm sitting here and I get to talk with the Lord. Um, so this I recommend. Um, I'll probably show a picture of it. Uh, this I got online and said, hey, it's another guy that does guitar hymns. And I listened to some music and I listened, read some of them and I didn't pay attention and read all of them. So I'm like, hmm, guitar music, some more picking guitar, old hymns, and I can listen to it so I can trade it up because three years I've been listening to this, and I will still continue to listen to it. She did really good on this. But I got to there, and I started reading down, and I got online and started looking it up. And the biggest thing that I found out, I didn't find it on this, there was like a trio of young ladies, and piano's playing, and they're singing old hymns. And I'm like, first of all, it's designed emotionally to get an emotional response. But they start singing, I'm like, you know what, I can't quite understand what they're saying. So let's look up the song they're singing, look up the words, and look into what they're actually singing. So, one of the things that they were singing, um, Come Thou Fount. And I'm reading through it, and it's like one of the words where it's actually a Bible word, but it's something about the Old Testament and everything. So I was thinking, eh, that might be okay. Then I came, the, the, the song they were singing was the fount, Come Thou Fount, and then If You Could Hi to Kolob. <laughs> it's like mixed where they start with that one, then go straight into the next one. So when I looked up If You Could Hi to Kolob, I found out Kolob is another name for, I think, Jesus, and it said Latter day Saints, or it's a planet out there. Something really far fetched, like he's in charge of the planets or something like that. It's just. It was way out there and I can't believe I paid 20 bucks for this CD and come to find out it's Latter-day Saints and it's got satanic songs on it. So I will have to destroy this. So I just want you to learn from my mistakes. When you go to buy a CD, make sure you check out every song that's on there, look up the words, find out, because a lot of songs on here are, are fine. I mean, you've got I Stand All Amazed, Oh My Father, you know, Sweet Hour of Prayer, uh, Mother, I love you. I don't know about that one. Let's see, I know my father lives. You know, it has some good ones on here, and I just scanned over like a lot of them. And when I noticed a lot of them, hey, I like these. I kind of skipped one, and I didn't go over every single one. So that was a lot of money wasted. You know, I'm trying to save money, and it's a lot of money wasted. So don't make the mistake I did. If you guys can, and you guys out there that look really hardcore for this stuff for me, um, I'm looking for. Sorry about that. The battery went dead. That's how tired I am. I always check the battery. <laughs> this time I didn't check it. So I don't know what got cut off, so I'll find out when I put the video together. Um, yes, I'm looking for a good CD that has instrumental old hymns. I, my favorite's always still been the guitar. She picks the guitar, like country style picking, not rock and roll, not this new junk out there satanic style music but I'm just saying she just has the guitar and she's picking all these old hymns it's the best CD I've ever come across for just sitting there listening and talking to the Lord with so and then of course sometimes I don't listen to anything I listen to God's music we have times of the year where there's tons of birds um, the winds blowing through the trees and you get to hear the wind blowing through the trees and everything so but yeah um, doing a lot of work around here so I'm trying to bide my time between Bible studies and getting some physical work at summertime. So keep me in your prayers, brothers and sisters in Christ, and keep uh, Kathy in your prayers. Uh, and I just want to thank you for all your prayers and all the support and encouragement I've been getting from the brethren. And uh, just don't make the mistake I did, okay? Whenever you buy anything online, make sure to 
vet it properly. So I will see you in the next study video and uh, thank you for watching.